Hi, and welcome to the latest video roundup of the DPS Rent Index. As we step into a new decade, let's take a look back at the stats and facts for the final quarter of 2019 and beyond. Average rents have continued to rise over the last 10 years, but the percentage of wages being spent on rent has fallen since its peak in 2016. And with the average UK salary increasing over the last 12 months to over £30,000, renting is now relatively more affordable than at any time since 2013. In the six-month period prior to the tenant fees ban and deposit cap coming into force, we've seen average deposit values decrease significantly from £905 to £828. Commentators speculated that rents would have increased as a result of the fee ban, but we haven't seen that materialise as yet. In fact, average rents have only increased marginally by £11 in the 12 months since Q4 2018, up from £762. However, it's also the year where we saw the highest average monthly rental value of £777 since the Deposit Protection Service first launched in 2007. Average monthly rent in the UK now stands at £773, a marginal decrease of £4 on the previous quarter. Northern Ireland experienced the biggest change in average rental value across the UK, from £532 to £548, a £16 increase. At the other end of the spectrum, Average monthly rent in Yorkshire and the Humber decreased by £27, from £551 to £524. As ever, London continues to be the most expensive region in which to rent property. The capital saw a £13 increase in average monthly rent, rising to £1,345. This is over two and a half times the average monthly rent of £518, which is paid in the UK's cheapest region, the North East. Year on year, the difference is even higher. Average monthly rent in London has climbed by £55 compared to this time last year. By property type, terrace houses have declined the most in average rents, falling by £4 from £732 to £728. In contrast, detached properties have seen the largest increase in average rents, rising by £8 from £990 to £998 in the final quarter of 2019. Make sure you check out the latest issue and see how your region stacks up compared to the rest of the UK. You can find the index by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.